We'll talk about some frightening facts today about a 58-year-old woman and the suffering she and her family went through when they discovered they had an uncommon and terminal cancer. In life, you can never predict when something unexpected will occur. It has the capacity to completely undermine all of your goals and turn everything upside down. The word, cancer, makes us tremble, and if it's incurable, our only recourse is to pray for recovery. Have you heard that your itchy hand could be caused by an incurable kind of cancer? Maria Alessandra Berry, 58, of Harrow, Northwest London, suffered a terrible blow when she discovered that her itchy hands were actually a sign of a rare and dangerous cancer. First, let's define terminal cancer. Defined as end-stage cancer. Terminal cancer is a type of malignancy that is incurable or untreatable. There are many who even call it end-stage or last-stage cancer. Any cancer has the potential to progress to a fatal stage, at which point there is no chance of survival. Terminal cancer that is resistant to treatment usually does not get better. As a result, maximizing comfort is the aim of treatment. Now let's look into Maria's beginnings. The start of everything with Maria. Maria began to experience problems when her hands began to itch constantly. According to her, I had gallstones a few years ago and had my gallbladder removed, but prior to that, I had never experienced any health issues. Not only that, but she said, I had cracked hands and had to wear gloves during the lockdown. At first, I assumed it was a response to a new oven cleaning product I had purchased. I had aches and pains all throughout, in my elbows and in my joints. They truly irritated me. Due to the lockdown, Maria was unable to visit a doctor in person, so she texted the clinic images of her swollen and painful palms. She had numerous steroid creams, gels, and UV treatments throughout the course of the following year, but to no avail. The level of destruction that Maria's family went through is heartbreaking. Along with her three children, Nico, 32, Luca, 30, and Nadia, 27, she resided in Harrow. She had a strong enough intuition to know that there was a reason why her skin was itching. I felt like something wasn't right, the woman remarked. Nothing had worked for months despite trying a number of strategies. I believe there might be a major issue, so I insisted on getting a CT scan. On Christmas Eve 2021, Maria received a call from Northwick Park Hospital with her test results. Fearing the worst, she brought her children, the unemployed Nico, the salesman Luca, and the manager of the football facility, Nadia, for support. I'm absolutely stunned by the news, she remarked. The physician speculated that I might have a rare form of cancer and recommended a biopsy. During the agonizingly long and arduous wait, we performed our own research on the malignancy and discovered that a trial was being conducted at UCLH Hospital to compare the efficacy of gene therapy versus conventional chemo in treating people with this type of cancer. Nadia, the youngest of the three, commented on her mother's illness. My mother was informed that attempts will be made to discover the defective gene following her biopsy. The conventional chemotherapy treatment started at the same time. Mom is having terrible side effects from her treatment, which is too much for her. Because of the extreme side effects of the chemotherapy, the doctors have really put her on rest from the treatment. However, there are currently just three to six months to live due to how stubborn and unpredictable this rare and aggressive cancer is. According to Nadia, the UCLH hospital has admitted that they have found the defective gene and may be able to provide gene therapy, which is a less invasive kind of cancer treatment that nevertheless targets the disease with the same vigor as chemotherapy, but the NHS does not pay it. Nadia remarked, she's already crying and saying she doesn't want to die, and none of my siblings or I have even moved out or had children yet. Her doctors seem to have given up on her. As a realist, I'm not suggesting that the study will improve her. But if it can save even five years, the cost will be justified. Since my mother is ill all the time and cannot enjoy her final years due to the side effects of chemotherapy, I am desperate for gene therapy. You may help the family by donating to Maria's GoFundMe page. There is now a link in the description below. You can only imagine how horrible the family must have found this terrible news. On Christmas Eve, the physicians told her that they had a strong suspicion that she had an extremely uncommon kind of cancer and that a biopsy was required. Her initial three biopsies yielded inconclusive results. They were positive that Maria had a deadly illness after the fourth biopsy. 
The doctor said that because the cancer was so uncommon, more testing was necessary to determine its type. In April, she received a diagnosis of bile duct carcinoma. In addition, cancer had spread to her liver. The doctors diagnosed me with a 9 cm lump that turned out to be an intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma. They also suggested treatment, which I began in May. The course of treatment is going well thus far, and a prompt recovery is predicted. What then may be said about the medical community's diagnosis of Maria? What is medical science able to say? Her extremely rare kind of bile duct cancer has very limited treatment choices, and the National Health Service NHS, in the UK does not cover it. This kind of cancer affects the ducts that transport bile, a digestive fluid required for the organs of the digestive system to communicate and for the breakdown of lipids. Maria's hands were dry and inflamed, among her many complaints. Additional cautionary indicators included fatigue, black urine, lighter than usual feces, and yellowing of the skin or eye whites, jaundice. The most successful course of treatment for cancer that is found in its early stages is typically surgical removal. In Maria's case, it had reached her liver before it was discovered. Is there a treatment for this kind of terminal cancer? Is the most crucial question. Treatment for this kind of cancer toward the end of life. Treatment options for terminal cancer usually target reducing pain from the debilitating symptoms of the disease as well as any potentially agonizing side effects from any prescribed treatments. In an effort to extend their patients' lives, some physicians might keep using radiation and chemotherapy. However, this isn't always a workable treatment plan. Check out the opinions of oncologists on this. What experts on cancer have to say. While doctors can influence a patient's choice regarding the course of treatment for terminal cancer, people often make the final decision. Due to the unfavorable side effects of further therapy, some patients with advanced cancer choose not to pursue it. For instance, some may conclude that any potential increase in life expectancy is outweighed by the expected negative effects of radiation or chemotherapy. Even though it is highly unlikely that the drugs under investigation in these studies would be able to treat terminal cancer, the knowledge they offer advances the way the condition is managed. They might be helpful to future generations. This is an excellent method for someone to ensure that their final moments are remembered long after they pass away. But are there any other medical specialties that might provide a moment's relief? Are there alternative medical practices? Patients with cancer who are in later stages of their illness may get relief from alternative medications. Apart from providing pain relief, other relaxing therapies like massage therapy and acupuncture may also aid in reducing stress. Several medical specialists suggest that persons with terminal cancer see a psychologist or psychiatrist for assistance in coping with feelings of anxiety and depression. If you notice that your hands, palms, feet, or other body parts are itching, you shouldn't ignore this sensation as unimportant. That can force you to face the biggest horror of your life. It is almost always better to receive care early in the course of a fatal illness rather than waiting till later. Let's cooperate to protect our health and aim for a life free from illness and afflictions. Check out what your skin is telling you about your health or skin cancer early symptoms you should know about. Go ahead and click 1. Even better, watch both to learn more about how to recognize and be cautious when your body sends out signs. Have you given this movie any attention and seen any changes in yourself that may have been associated with it? Please tell us in the comment section below.